Thursday, September 30th, day 32 of Ida Recovery. Highs of 84 today. Storms again. Maybe drying out tomorrow, but some more rain during the weekend. A knocking on the door of October, and Medicare's annual enrollment period starts in just two weeks on October 15th. So what does this mean for you? If you have Medicare, it's a time to review your current coverage and decide if you want to make any changes for 2022. There's a lot to consider, and Nick Carl from People's Health joins us today to discuss eight important things that you need to know about Medicare. And these eight things will help you better understand the benefits that are available to you whether you're already enrolled in Medicare or will be eligible soon. Hey, Nick, how are you? I'm great, Tommy. Thanks for having me this morning. Thanks for taking the time. I'm a long way from Medicare, but I got to tell you, I I don't relish trying to sort through all of this, but maybe it's not that hard and you can help us understand it now and help those that are eligible. The four parts of Medicare, I guess would be a good place to start. What are they? Yeah, so you're right. Medicare can be very confusing, and it's a subject that people don't really pay attention to until it's upon them, right? So there are there are four parts to Medicare. Really, we call them the ABCs of Medicare. So Part A covers your inpatient hospital care. Part B covers your medical insurance for things like doctors' visits, those types of things, outpatient setting. And then Part C is Medicare Advantage plans, where those are private insurance companies like People's Health, that contract with Medicare and offer people their Medicare benefits. And then Part D is for your prescription drug coverage. To get your Part D, you've got to enroll in a plan, uh, their standalone prescription drug plans, or you can receive it through a Part C Medicare Advantage plan. So those are really the four main parts, A, B, C, and D, and we can jump into more uh, later on in the conversation. All right. So what about out-of-pocket cost with Medicare? Because a lot of people think it's totally free, but it's not. It's definitely not. And really, when you start talking about Part B of Medicare, uh, kind of we call it original Medicare, really Part A and B. Part B, the member is going to be responsible for a small deductible, and then it really goes to an 80-20 coinsurance, meaning that the member uh, pays 20% of the cost and Medicare pays 80% of the cost. We're under Part A for your um, hospital insurance. Uh, that, that has a deductible of about $1,500. And then there's a per day payment, and there's no real out of pocket limit on parts uh, A and B. So that that's that's something to, to keep in mind. Where if you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you do have maximum out of pocket, meaning that it covers the amount that members w- would pay in a calendar year, and we're able to coordinate the members' care and keep them healthier and uh, happier. And People's Health is one of those Health, Medicare Advantage plans, right? That's correct. People's Health is a Part C Medicare Advantage plan, meaning that we have a contract with Medicare and we administer almost 90,000 people in the state of Louisiana's Medicare benefits for them. So there are benefits that Medicare doesn't cover and they would be what? So like I mentioned kind of in my intro, so under you're not automatically enrolled in Part D for your prescription drug coverage. So you'd have to go out and enroll either in a Part C or a Part D plan to have coverage at the pharmacy for your prescription drug. And then other examples of that, you know, original Medicare does cover a lot, right? It covers your inpatient and outpatient setting, but it doesn't cover things like dental, vision, fitness center membership, transportation. So there's lots of benefits that you don't get under Medicare A and B that you're eligible for if you enroll in a Part C plan. Um, What about a little more detail about Medicare Advantage plans? So you have to be enrolled in Medicare A and B to be eligible to enroll in a Part C plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. And when you first join Medicare, um, you can enroll in a Part C plan. You get additional benefits like I discussed earlier. You can get things like dental, vision, and health club. Uh, Most plans are zero premium. You know, in the greater New Orleans area, there's many many plans out there, including really all of the people's health plans that you do not pay a monthly premium for. Um, We we cover um, the premium for the members, and all they have to do is continue to pay their Part B premium to Medicare to be eligible for the plan. So you can join, be a member of People's Health, and it doesn't cost anything? Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. In fact, we have some plans where we pay a portion of the members' Part B premium for them. So not only does it not cost you anything, 
we pay a portion of the of your Medicare premium on your behalf, depending on where you live. So what about lowering Medicare expenses? Yeah, so there, there's, there's some options out there for people, especially based on income. Uh, you can apply for state Medicaid, where then if you have both Medicare and Medicaid, you can enroll in a, what we call a dual special needs plan, where really you get all of your uh, Medicare coverage covered for you um, at really almost no expense to the member, along with some additional uh, benefits, like I mentioned with vision, dental. Even now there's plans, that, in, including people's health plans, that offer a healthy food benefit. They offer over-the-counter items for their members. So if somebody's struggling to meet their, you know, with income or, or resources, they can apply for state Medicaid and even get additional resources. So that's that SNP or SNP? I'm a little bit confused. That's correct. What is that? SNP is a special needs plan, and it's designed for people with a special need. And in this case, a dual special needs plan is for somebody that not only has Medicare, but also has state Medicaid. So Medicare so, is based on age, right, or right. age or disability, where Medicaid is based on income and resources. So it's for somebody that, that meets the Medicare requirement, but also meets the Medicaid requirement based on income or resources. So what is extra help for Medicare? So extra help covers prescription drug coverage, and that's, again, based on um, income and, and resource limits. And to qualify for extra help, you get help at the pharmacy. So you get help for deduct, covering your deductibles, covering your premiums, cover, covering a lot of your costs on the uh, prescription drug side of things. Um, just go ahead, finish, please. No, I was just going to say if somebody wants to it, more info on that, if you're eligible for Medicaid, you get low-income subsidy or extra help free. But otherwise, you can go online to SSA and, and – um, ssa.gov and apply for both Medicaid or you can contact Louisiana Medicaid um, to apply as well. All right. Now that everybody's eyes have glazed over, Nick, including mine, we're going to take a second. We're going to digest everything that we've heard and we'll talk about enrollment when we come back. All right. That sounds great, Tommy. Thanks for having me again. You bet. Nick Carl with People's Health is with us. We're trying to navigate Medicare's annual enrollment period. It starts on October 15th, I do know some people that are becoming eligible for it, and they are just overwhelmed with the choices, the information, et cetera, and we're trying to help you sort that out. It's 820. That's time for traffic now on WWL. 826, Tommy Tucker, WWL, talking to Nick Carl with People's Health about Medicare's annual enrollment period. It starts in two weeks on October 15th. It can be kind of tough to navigate. Let's get back to it, Nick, and Talk about enrollment. When can you enroll? Yeah, so uh, the average Medicare beneficiary can enroll when they turn 65, and they have an uh, enrollment period that runs for seven months around their 65th birthday. And then after that, they can enroll one time a year during the annual enrollment period. And you just mentioned that starts October 15th, and it runs through December 7th, so it's right around the corner, it's two weeks away. We can actually start advertising our uh, 2022 benefits tomorrow on October 1st. So you'll start seeing plans talking about what they can offer to Medicare beneficiaries really across the area starting tomorrow. And we can start taking enrollment applications October 15th, and that runs through December 7th. So how can people listening right now, maybe even for their parents, help them navigate their way through it, find out more about their options, including the new people's health plans? Yeah, so if you're in the area, you can meet in person at one or attend one of our uh, presentations that we have at our new People's Health United Healthcare Medicare Center. It's on Vets, right at the corner of Causeway and Veterans, uh, right behind the, the Talbots or next to the Party City. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Definitely encourage people to stop by and ask questions. You can also call us at 1-866-687-7335. We're happy to answer any questions they have there or visit peopleshealth.com or any of our social media pages. We've got a Facebook and a Twitter page, Instagram page. So definitely just encourage anybody to give us a call. This is obviously very confusing and, and, and a topic that uh, doesn't come naturally to some people. So give, give one of our licensed representatives a call and we're happy to help. So at that, um, the People's Health United Healthcare Medicare Center, you can walk in, but I guess you're encouraging appointment appointments. 
Yeah, just to, just for traffic flow and just to make sure we're following all the COVID guidelines, uh, we prefer an appointment. But if somebody has a question and wants to walk in, we welcome that. I mean, we definitely have um, the ability to meet with anyone to cover any questions that they have. In person is going to be a little bit better than over the phone? Yeah, it just it's, it's, it's naturally it's face-to-face, but we offer over the phone. We offer, I mean, just really any way that anybody wants to meet and get their questions asked. Uh, we're happy to accommodate the, however anybody wants to meet, but we definitely have the ability to meet socially distanced and take care of uh, of people face to face or by phone. Any final thoughts, Nick? No, I mean again, I just want to reiterate: it is confusing, but the key is for people to understand that they have many options on how to receive their Medicare and what's right for you or your neighbor. It may not be right for the person next door, right? And uh, Take a look, do your homework, shop. If you're on a current plan, take a look at what their benefits are going to be in 2022 and compare it to what is out there. And uh, what's right one year might not be right the next year. So take a look and uh, do your homework, and it'll definitely – it could save you a lot of money or cost you a lot of money over the next year if you don't do that now. Thanks, uh, thanks, Nick. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Uh, you bet. You can view a list of dates, locations, and times online at peopleshealth.com slash meetings, or you can call them, and they'll help you find one near you. That's one eight four four six hundred seven nine one zero. And you can generally find out more about People's Health by going to peopleshealth.com, calling 866-687-7335, and, of course, following People's Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. When we come back, we'll talk to Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang and find out what's going on there with COVID and Ida recovery and so forth. Right now, time for WWL First News. For that, we go to Dave Cohen.